Imagine standing before a centuries-old painting, its colors as vivid as when it was first created. But where did those intense blues, fiery reds, and glowing yellows come from? The answer lies in the chemistry of pigments. Ancient artists were also secret scientists. For blue, they ground lapis lazuli, a rare gemstone mined in Afghanistan, to create ultramarine, prized for its deep luminosity, and once more, costly than gold. Red hues often came from cinnabar, a bright mercury ore, or from the crushed bodies of cochineal insects, which produced a rich crimson dye. Earthy yellows emerged from ochre, a naturally occurring clay colored by iron oxide. Brilliant greens were made from malachite, a copper carbonate mineral, or verdigris, produced by exposing copper to vinegar fumes, creating a vibrant but unstable pigment. Black was often made from charred bones or soot, while whites came from lead or chalk. Some of these pigments were toxic, requiring skill and care in their preparation and application. The legacy of these natural sources is visible today, as their mineral and organic origins allowed the colors to endure through centuries, revealing the ingenuity, resourcefulness, and scientific understanding of the creators long before modern chemistry existed.